Okay, let's start the presentation and I'll share with you on how to apply to Chinese universities on China admissions platform. So here's a little update beforehand about the updates for international students for the 2021 intake. So the current COVID-19 situation in China is actually, China is uh, better, right? It's so much better than a few months back, especially since, especially compared to the beginning of the year where COVID strikes so many parts of the world. And China is gradually improving as well. And it's, it is under control here in China. And then for admissions, for admissions in 2021 intake, uh, admissions is actually going normally. So as all the universities have mentioned in today's online open day, they all mentioned that application is open for 2021 intake for both March and also for September 2021 intake. So for those of you who want to apply to China and you, you want to study at Chinese universities in 2021 intake, please do apply now. Do not waste another time, just uh, prepare your applications, prepare all your documents and, you know, start looking for the best universities where you want to study. And if you still have any doubts, any questions or anything, feel free to contact us as well on Chan Admissions and we'll guide you with the program recommendations and also with the application. And then uh, regarding the format of the class for the 2021 intake, um, it's going to be either online or in the on-campus session. So it depends on the future situation and it depends on the uh, COVID-19 situation as well because we still don't know what will happen in 2021. But we do hope that uh, students will also get the chance to experience the on-campus classes again in the future very soon. Uh, next part is about how to apply. But before that, I'll explain to you about why China admissions. So, the first of all, the first reason why you should apply on China admissions is that because we're free of charge. So as we mentioned before, we are having cooperation, we're having partnership with a lot of Chinese universities in China and thus we are funded by the universities. And so we can offer free services to international students to apply. So you only need to pay the application fee as required by the university. So each university do require application fee. So it's the fee to cover the uh, processing to cover the processing fee of your applications, to apply for your visa, to send the materials to your home countries and so on. So you have to only pay for the applications fee and we do not charge any service fee to help you apply to Chinese universities. And the second one is because China Admissions is a one platform for all. What does that mean, Nadia? So one platform for all, it means that you can search and apply to multiple universities in just one platform, in just one click on Chan Admissions website. So if you have visited our platform before, you'll see that we have uh, over like 2000 programs available in China that you can apply for and the number keeps adding up. So if you want to apply to, let's say, uh, two business programs, you want to apply to bachelor in business at Tonghua University and also at ECNU, you can just go to China Admissions platform and apply to both universities. And all you need to do is just to click on both programs you want to apply for and fill in the application once. And you only need to upload your documents and everything once as well. And you can pay the application fee all at once and will process your application. And the last reason is because our team here, uh, we're working very hard to be as responsive as we can. So we're reachable anytime and our average response time on email is usually nine hours and 10 minutes. And this is a little bit about the application process. So how to complete the application. So it's actually very simple. I tried it myself and it took me only about 10 to 12 minutes to actually finish my whole application. So the first of all, you have to choose your program and then you need to apply online. You can do it on China Admissions platform. And then after that, you need to complete the online applications, like filling in your personal information, your education background, your working experience if you have, and like your financial information and all that. And after that, you need to upload the documents and then pay the application fee. And that's it. Your application is submitted and being reviewed by the China Admissions uh, team. And then after that, uh, here is how you can apply on China Admissions. So first of all, you can just go to this page over here. It's apply.chanadesadmissions.com slash search, where it will bring you to this page over here where you can see like all the uh, programs available in China that you can apply for. 
And if you cannot find your programs on China Admissions Platform, do not worry as well. As we mentioned earlier, we can help you apply to any Chinese universities and any programs in China. So just uh, let us know if you don't find the programs and we'll still help you apply there anyway. Just uh, choose the program that you want to apply for. For example, you want to apply to the MBA program at the uh, China, China Europe International Business School in Shanghai. So just simply click the apply now button over there and then you can see the page over here, which is basically the program information. You can see more about the university and also we do have the videos as well from the previous online open day. The university have joined that before. You can see like uh, all the programs information, accommodation, fees, admissions, and some reviews from the former students who were studying there. And you can just simply click the apply now button and we'll lead you here where you need to create an account. So if you already have an account on China Admissions Platform, you could just simply sign in to the China Admissions Platform, right? So you can sign in with your email and also password, but if you don't have it before, you should just uh, create a new account. It's very simple. It's only like five seconds to do it. So you should just uh, write your email address, first name, last name, password, uh, choose your nationality and then create an account and we'll send you a link uh, to your email where you can activate your account and you can start your online application. So after you apply, so after you apply and fill in all the uh, personal information, your family information, your financial information and everything, this is where you need to upload all the documents and universities do have uh, the list of the required documents. It will be shown over there. So we will help you with like all the list and in each of the documents required, there's also a video to help you guide on how to prepare the transcript, for example, or how you can prepare your English certificate or other documents. So, but if you don't have all your documents ready all at once, that's okay as well. Cause like some of you might graduate in like in the next six months, for example. So you still don't have your graduation certificate or probably you still don't have your uh, academic transcript. So that's okay as well. You could just, uh, complete that later. Just make sure to complete everything before the deadline, so we can process and help you apply on time. And then you can pay the you can pay the application fee to finalize your application. You can also pay the application fee before your uh, documents is completed, so we can process your application and we can constantly remind you to finish your application. We will guide you through the application. Uh, documents collection and everything and we'll submit everything to the university once it's ready so what to do after the application submission so what you should do after your application is successfully submitted to china admissions with all the application fee with the documents as well so basically china admissions will do double check on your application so we'll check again on each of your documents whether you have completed the correct documents or not whether you have all the completed documents or not and after that uh, we will submit your application to the university and then the university will basically process your application. So it might take several times. Some universities do need about two weeks or four weeks, uh, eight weeks. So it is various. It depends on the university. And after that, they might also invite you for an interview, for example, for an online interview where they want to get to know you better and all that. And after all that, uh, they will let you know whether or not you are accepted or you are uh, unsuccessful with your application. And if you are accepted, you need to pay the deposit fee to the university. The amount is various. It, it's about uh, 3,000 RMB to like the full amount of the tuition fee for the year. So it depends on the university policy as well. And after you pay the deposit fee to basically secure your seat in China, then the university will send the visa form and also the admissions notice to your home country so you can apply for visa at the Chinese embassy and then fly to China. But for 2021, because we still don't know whether or not the classes will be taught online or on campus, so the university will also let you know, inform you whether or not the classes will be taught on campus or online. If it's going to be taught on campus, then this is the process. So basically they will apply for your visa and then send you the admissions notice and visa form so you can apply for your visa and fly to China. But it, if it's going to be taught online, they will also guide you with that. So there will be like an online registration day where they get you more familiar with the online learning process and everything. So do not worry, the university will prepare the best uh, classes for you so you can study and get the best education. So to get more updates from China admissions as well, please do check uh, our 
website, if you check our website where we have uh, other events, like for example, in January, in the end of January, January 23rd, 2021, we will have another Chinese universities online open day with uh, other universities again. So it's going to be an exciting universities because at least like, you know, like probably eight universities will join again and give 12 minutes of presentation. And this is such a good time for you to get to know which programs you want to study and also to get to know like uh, like which city you want to go like some students do prefer to study in big cities like Shanghai or Beijing but some others do prefer to study in smaller cities like Xi'an or like in Qingdao and Jinan so yeah it's a good chance for you to join again the Chinese University's online open day next month to get more information and more program updates from other universities and also we are uh, having all the recorded sessions there as well so we have like, for example, we have the HSK level three sample class that was uh, the online event we did with Chinese Language Institute before. And also we have the info session with other universities, HSK level four, uh, CMO class with TICC. Like we have all the recorded sessions there from our previous online events that you can check and you can see all that and to get updated and to get more information about China, about studying Chinese, about the programs and everything. And then uh, we to get updated as well, to stay updated with uh, everything that is going on in China or to get updates about how to prepare your application, about tips and tricks, for example, about how to open a bank account in China, or if you wanna to get to know more about the experiences of other students who were studying in China before, or for example, if you want to even to get to know my experience studying master's program at UIBE in Beijing with CSC scholarship, please do check as well our blog. It's chinadeskadmissions.com slash blog, where you can see all the information about studying in China guide. So we'll give you tips and tricks on how to be successful on your application. We'll give you tips and tricks as well about how to live in China, about let's say opening a bank account in China to get a job, to apply for a job, to prepare you uh, before coming to China and after graduating. And then you can also see students experiences that, like my experience, for example, and then we have other students experiencing uh, studying in China, in UIB, in Biafashu, in other universities in other part of China. So please do check our blog as well to stay updated with uh, the information. And then after that, we do have uh, another exciting information as well about updates. To get updated, you can also check our YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Chan Admissions. So you can just uh, type on the YouTube search bar Chan Admissions and you'll find our channel where we have updated information about what's currently happening in China and also about our next event, for example. And if you wanna see a glimpse of Chinese universities like uh, Dalian News of University of Information or maybe Nanjing University, Tsinghua University, Tongji University, or even like fun facts about China that you didn't know about student experience and all that, anything, just uh, go to our YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well to stay updated. And last but not least, if you still have any questions at all, please do message us on uh, email or drop a message on WhatsApp. Or I'm pretty sure you have uh, social media accounts as well, like Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, WeChat account. So please do uh, connect with our social media as well to stay updated and to get updates about Chinese universities, about life in China, about applications, about admissions, and everything related to China, because we're ready to welcome you and uh, to study in China, and we're ready to help you achieve your dreams. 